I just want to say one last word. You've been a good friend to me. You've won me many points, and you're going to a better place. No! <laughs> All right, today we are doing something kind of crazy. We're gonna be cutting open some paddles for science to see what's inside. So I'm gonna be comparing a $5 paddle with a $30 paddle, and then we're gonna jump all the way to a $200 paddle. And then for our big finale, I'm, I'm, I hate to do this and I'm a little bit sad, but uh, we're gonna do it for science. We're gonna cut open the Lab 6, a $330 paddle, and see what makes a $300 paddle that much more expensive than a $5 paddle. Let's do this. That's loud. <laughs> Surprise everyone, inside the wooden paddle is just more wood. No real surprise there. Oh, that's kind of interesting, actually. What what kind of wood is this? It's like plywood it's or something. Plywood. Yep. That just seems like just traditional wood that you buy from Home Depot. Yep. Okay. Five dollars. Yep. All right. Next paddle that we have. This is a thirty dollar paddle. So we have this taken off here. You could kind of see the polymers already in the handle. So let's let's slice this open. What do you think, Steve? Do you think we could cut it this way? Yeah. Let's do it. All right. Let's try it here. Woo! I saw sparks come out of that one. I it's probably because it hit the metal. The Yeah, there's staples in this paddle. Right here, look at that. There's actually staples that came out of the paddle when he was cutting it and that attaches the handle to the, the paddle. Really interesting. Look at look at that. It's foam. The handle is foam. Yeah, this handle is foam. I've seen the other ones are like kind of wood. This handle here, I never knew that the material of this is kind of like a, what would you say, Steve? Like a hard foam? It does look like the head of the paddle goes into the handle. Right. I'm not sure actually what if this would be considered unibody. Because the more expensive paddles like the Carbon and the Lab 6, they say it's unibody. But this looks unibody to me, like it's right. the, the polymer's one piece. I'd be very interested to see what unibody actually means, but I know for sure this is not unibody technology, but it surely does look like it's one piece. Just because it's thin? Right here. Mine feels pretty sturdy still. I'm not really able to snap yeah. this easily. I mean, I can try harder, but I don't want yeah, no, to splinter. Oh, wow, yeah. Ah. He was able to kind of peel off the surface of that paddle. So it looks like behind this kind of uh, paint surface, there's like an extra layer of, I'm gonna assume that's carbon fiber. Yeah. Quite get it apart. Uh-huh. Looks like a beehive. Oh. Interesting. Okay, let's move on to our next paddle here. The Carbon 2X. Oh, look at this, Steve. It's kind of surprising. The handle here is the same exact foam material. Oh, it's that hard foam. Yeah. yeah. Yep. But why don't we see what's inside when we cut it this way. Okay. Here. I'm gonna stand, I know. <laughs> yep, it's, it wants to run away. <laughs> it's like, Alec, don't cut me up. <laughs> so I just wanted to stop in the middle there. So dude, that, as I'm cutting it, uh -huh. These little pieces. Oh my God. They are flying out and you can see one of them is stuck. Oh my, are you okay? Yeah. It's like splintered. Yeah, it's splintering and they're like needles that are Jeez flying. Jeez Louise. <laughs> okay, that's, get that, that cannot be healthy. Yeah, that's, right. dude, it's all, you got like shot yeah. by a porcupine. <laughs> so that was kind of interesting. They were definitely Yeah, uh, everyone sees that. That is there. ridiculous. Yeah. So what do you think? We, we should probably stop here, huh? I think it's okay. Do you want to wear gloves? No, it's okay. It's like, <laughs> All right. I just thought that was kind of interesting. I'm going to step back. All right, here we go. 
All right, how many porcupines do you have in your uh, I got on one more. Look at that. Jeez, Louise. It's just <laughs> sticking out of him. How is that not hurting? I mean, it doesn't feel great, but... <laughs> well, guys, I forgot to say, do not do this at home. This is done by a professional over here. Yeah. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here it is. This is where you can see the thermofoam and the, the thermoform. Thermofoam is this little area right here. See that little spongy little material right here? This goes around the perimeter of the whole paddle. And this kind of gives the, the paddle a bit more of a soft and full feeling. And take a look at this close up of, of all those little, little micro, micro strands of carbon fiber. That is so interesting. Yeah, I could peel one off. Look at that. Yeah. It's not super stiff, so I could see why it didn't hurt. But all these strands woven together is what makes that paddle feel gritty. It's very interesting how, how stiff this paddle still feels even after cutting it in half. Like, I can't really, can't really press into it much. Yeah. Now, when people talk about delamination, what they're referring to is essentially this surface of the paddle is coming off from the honeycomb over time after the trauma of hitting it onto this paddle. It detaches from that honeycomb, but because of this thermoform form right here, around the perimeter, the edges are all sealed up, essentially creating a trampoline where if you can imagine the edges are sealed up like a drum, the surface is detached from that core and that's what creates extra power is when that trampoline effect of the ball sinking into the paddle and rebounding off of that paddle. That's what's happening there. Hopefully this you could kind of see if this detaches. That is what's going on there. I'm trying to get the edge guard off. I've seen paddles where the edge guard just peels it, off. Yeah, right? it just comes off right away and this is Yep, that's because that is thermoformed, meaning the edge guard is like all glued up into the edges of the paddle. Like, let's do a close up here. Yeah, He's been it. like working at that, and it's just, it's just essentially one whole piece. Yeah, and that's, and that's like really hard to get off of there. Yeah, that's not coming off. All right, you want to cut it? Should we cut it the other way? Let's try cutting it the other way to see what's kind of what it's looking like in the handle, in the handle okay. what, uh, how that compares to the $30 paddle. All right. Be careful, Steve. Yes. I love you. <laughs> wow. Mmm. Interesting, let's compare. So yeah, so again, I'm interested about that, that whole like unibody technology. Yep, I, to, to be honest, is this not also unibody? But yeah, you guys, this material is the same. And this, this little black foam that's going around the handle is the same. Underneath that, I mean, it kind of looks the same to me. Oh, look at this, Steve. Oh, what is that yeah, going down there? there? It's like a rod. Chris Olson, he tried, he made a, a video of him trying to break the handle of the Carbon 2X and he was banging it across his like femur and it wouldn't, it wouldn't, break. <laughs> it wouldn't break. And that is the reason why that mysterious little injection, it's stiff. Yeah, it feels I'm hard. Let's pressing see if we can get on it, it out of there. And it's rock hard. No clue what that is. It's crushing. Well. Whoa, yeah. okay, that is different. Dude, they put a breadstick in the <laughs> <handle>. Forbidden pretzel. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? It just seems like a, yeah, feel it. It's a, it's a, it's like a hard foam. Yeah, it's the same material as what's Maybe, going around, yeah. but it goes inside the handle. That seems a bit more stable to me. Yeah, to have an extra, like a absorbent rod that goes through the handle. Right. But shouldn't we see it on this side as well? Like, well, why is it only on one side? I don't know that I got it exactly in the middle, so. Right. All right, well, time 
for the final boss. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Six. I'm so sorry. Please don't hate me forever. Um, okay, it must be done. This is for science so we can learn about why this paddle is the real deal. What makes this $333? Just want to say one last word. You've been a good friend to me. You've won me many points and you're going to a better place. Yeah, this, this, is, uh, <laughs> this is the paddle I'm hoping to get at some point. So this is extra, <laughs> extra, extra painful, dude. <laughs> Meet your maker. <laughs> this is gonna be loud. I am pretty sure this is yeah. gonna be pretty. So I'm gonna run all the way over here, cover my ears. Ready okay. whenever you are, Sorry, Steve. One thing I was just noticing, that the handle is different already. You oh, know, really? It's not that foam. Oh, you're absolutely right. It's not the, it's a harder. This isn't foam. These guys are foam. Different shape for sure. Right. This one's a bit more oval. You know, foam at all. Okay, all right, let's do it. All right, hold on, let me get in place. No! <laughs> no! So, again, I don't know what this means. I got another one. Oh my God. I feel bad. I'm sorry. And that definitely did splinter off, but not as much. The weaves might be tighter. Right. If you look at the carbon 2X, lots of just splintering coming off. Yes, the same thing on the 6, but it's not anywhere com near compared to the, yeah, not as much the carbon. Sure. How does the inside look? Let's take a look this way. Okay, so we can definitely see a very similar comparison of that, that foam around here. I mean, it looks the same. There's no difference in the, uh, the honeycomb so that I can see. Ah, that, that comes, comes right off. off. Much, much easier. And that actually kind of lines up with some of the feedback I've gotten from people playing with this paddle is people say that the Carbon 2X feels stiffer uh. and poppier than the, the, the Lap 6. People say Lap 6 is one of the softest, like high-end uh. raw carbon fiber paddles. And I'm wondering if this has something to do with it. The edge guard came off right away, yeah. meaning that it's not sealed as tightly. This one we like could barely peel anything off. Yeah. But this one, the edge guard seems to be on a little bit looser. Yeah, let me try this. Let's try again. Just, I mean, that, oh, see that? Okay. That one came off a little bit easier. But this, yeah, I could tell you're really putting I'll a lot more force. It really, but this one, let's try this other side here and see if this is. This one's not coming off as easy. Yeah, that side still... isn't coming off as easy either. I'm like checking my skin if I have any splinters on me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> But it does still feel like easier to come off. Easier to come off. Although, see this one. Oh, that's the thermoform. Right, see that's. Yeah, okay. This right here is raw carbon fiber and it's actually sealed on top of the foam. So this is the thermoform. This sealant right here is the thermoform. Some paddles just have thermoform Mm -hmm. And some paddles just have thermoform, and this one has both. Shall we try cutting it uh, through the handle? Yep. See what happens? Yep, let's do it. Stand by. <laughs> Woo wee! Uh, that was definitely harder to That was through. loud. That was way louder. Yeah, and I think just because of this. Yes, the. Uh, I mean that. The that is, cover for the handle. I mean, feel that. That is. Oh, interesting. It's a kind of a. Yeah, this is just like pure uh, plastic. Plastic. Here. Yeah, I think it's. Just yeah. Ah, like, oh, that's interesting. There. It's pretty hard, you know. Look, this is sticky. Yeah. Look. Oh yeah, they have the same. Uh, this edge right here, the foam goes all the way down the edge of the handle. That's what makes it feel like so solid compared to like, compared to like the $30 one, for example. Mm -hmm. The, well, one that doesn't have thermal foam, but it's, it doesn't have like that dampening effect along the handle. 
I'm trying to squish this between my hands here. Very, very stiff. Should we try playing pickleball with this? I think if you play with that and I play with the full paddle, <laughs> you play the full paddle. That, that would be helpful. <laughs> Actually, I'm very curious. Do you have a ball around here? Yeah, not bad. You know, you could still get, still get some pop on it. <laughs> it's funny that it still sounds and like, it still bounces decently. Yeah. This is the uh, carbon. Yeah, you could definitely still get some pop on that. Yeah. This is the $30 paddle. Still bounces nicely. I guess we can't forget about good old Kanga <laughs> paddle here. <laughs> Sound. Sound, dude. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that is very, very weird. Interesting, yeah. Is this completely, yeah. Okay, so what yeah. Steve is talking about here is one side of the paddle actually has more foam. This side has a lot more foam than here. Certainly it could make it feel like maybe, it's not the handle though, right? Right, I mean. Like the handle has the least impact of what's going on here. I would be more concerned if that foam was uneven yeah, on the yeah, actual yeah. face of the paddle, yeah, totally. which it looks very uh, equal yeah. on the actual face. Yeah. Look at this just absolute bloodbath um, <laughs> <laughs> of our paddle destruction here. Yeah, that is, that is just on. wild. I have no idea. I mean, that's gotta be a testament to why the Carbon 2X feels so much grittier than most other paddles is, look at these. All right, so real quick, I wanted to add this part in. Steve was able to actually uh, detach the surface of the carbon fiber, the, car uh, the CRBN, and really interesting. It, this is what delamination looks like, is when that layer of this paddle comes off of the honeycomb. And surprisingly, it's fuzzy. Yeah. It's fuzz in here. I would never have thought there would be fuzz underneath the paddle like that. There's like a layer of yeah, this. Yeah, it's almost like this part has the... Yeah, what is this exactly? It's like fuzz. I'm very curious if the, uh, if the labs is the same way. Uh, pushing into the... Yeah. Oh, there it comes in. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's a matter of getting under it, but... Oh, yeah, but this one... Wow. This is kind of fuzzy, but this doesn't look the same, like... Yeah, it's got some kind of different coating. I mean, even this, look at that. You yeah. That is I'm, like, super crying. stiff, yeah. I'm trying to break that. And I can't. Yeah. <laughs> Is it the same with the, the carbon? Pretty stiff as well. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It doesn't feel as stiff as this one. Yeah, yeah. This definitely feels thicker to me. Yeah. That's what I was saying. I would be interested to find out how thick this one is compared to this. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look, look at this, guys. One hand, I could bend this pretty easily. Right. I feel how stiff this is. And this one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this feels more like a credit card. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like very, very stiff. This yeah. one feels more like a, uh, I don't know, like a poster board almost. Oh, look at that. One hand. Yeah. Oh, there Snapped you go. Look at you. Yeah. Ugh. Okay, you got that one. Oh, you s we had to bend it this way. Yeah. So the, this way it'll snap. Ah, so here's what we learned. The... The fibers are going down right. vertically yep. down the paddle. If you try to snap it this way, it is not happening. That's crazy. <laughs> wow. Yeah, this thing is stiff. Yeah. Oh my God. Interesting. So what's kind of running through my head is I'm wondering because this carbon uh, CRBN has more flex to it. Mm. If a paddle has more flex to it, the ball sinks in and rebounds faster, right. so there's totally. more deflection. Totally. So maybe that's why people feel like the Carbon is a poppier paddle, but the stiffer that you get, the less mm -hmm. sinking in trampoline effect that you get, so this one doesn't feel as, as powerful. You know, push into this part, mm -hmm. just like with your nail or like thumb. Yeah. 
I can push into that, you know? Yeah. A little bit, right? I mean, it's pretty stiff. It's pretty hard. But I can feel that kind of going in a little bit. Yeah. This one, that is Rock barely hard. moving. I mean, that's... Oh, wow, you're right. You that's know, super hard. It's super hard. But if you push on that... Yeah, I feel my fingers right? going in. Yeah, you can squish a little bit. Yeah, definitely feel that. Which, again, right, you're getting some of that trampoline effect. Yeah. You're right, um, you know... Yeah. Not the same, obviously, as delamination, but yeah, that's interesting. All right, I think we're going to wrap this up here. Um, this is super interesting. I'm, I'm still kind of digesting what I'm, take, what I'm seeing here, but it kind of goes to show just the amount of more material and technology is going into the more expensive paddles. Uh, compared to you know the $30 paddle um, if you guys have any paddles that you want us to open up oh my, I just saw that in the corner of my eye that poor little just the head of the paddle oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> that is the saddest thing I've ever seen but anyways guys if you want us to test any other paddles let us know and then we'll see if we can do that um, but for now I'm gonna create a uh, little funeral for our friends here. <laughs> yeah, Steve. Thank, thank you for letting me be your demo, man. Thanks for um, risking your hands out there. Yeah. Put some band-aids on you. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And yep. then uh, we'll see you guys next time, all right?